Alright guys, welcome to another Pokemon Showdown theme team, and today I am going to be doing a full Thief Fling team. So the sets are going to be pretty simple, every Pokemon is going to have Thief and Fling, as well as uh, everybody apart from Mutt is also going to have Recycle. So I'm just going to quickly go over the sets before we jump into the battles. So we have Muck with Poison Barb, which when, it, when flinged, poisons the Pokemon. Uh, it's got a sticky hole to stop the item being... Stolen before we throw it away, and then it's got Gunk Shot and Curse as the extra moves. Full HP, full attack. Next we have Raichu, which is holding a Light Ball, which when flung paralyzes the opponent. So then we've got Thief Fling Recycle Thunderbolt as the last move. Max Speed, Max Attack. Then we've got Simiseer, Thief Fling Recycle, with a Flame Orb, which burns the, uh, the Pokemon when it's flinged, and Taunt as the final move there. Again, Max Attack, Max Speed. Kecleon with Iron Ball, which uh, which turns Fling into 130 power, and it's got Protein, so it gets Stab Fling, and then Thief Recycle and Fake Out as well. Again, Max Attack and Max HP. Diggersby again with Iron Ball. It's got huge power, so its attack is massive, um, and then it's got Stomping Tantrum as well. It's a good little combo with Recycle and Stomping Tantrum, or Fling and Stomping Tantrum to get the extra power. Max HP, Max Attack, and finally we've got Mr. Mime with Eviolite, and then Fling, Thief, Recycle, and Zen Headbutt as the final move with Max Attack and Max Speed. Nice simple sets on all of those, so uh, let's jump into the matches. Alright, here we go, we have four battles for you today with this team. Here is battle number one coming up against uh, another theme team. They've got a full Ice theme team right here. Leading with their Alolan Ninetales, we're leading with the Simiseer, going for the Taunt straight off the bat, because I thought it was going to set up those screens, and it did manage to get a screen up before I could taunt it. We burn it with our Fling, and uh, and then Ninetales is pretty much just going to wall this Simiseer, because Simiseer does not have any fire moves. It was actually really hard to get wins with this team, um, being that Thief and Fling are both Dark-type moves, and I have no Dark-type Pokemon on the team. So it was pretty tough to, to win, but we did get some wins, and we put them in here. Ninetales going for Nasty Plot there, we go for the Zen Headbutt on the Ninetales, it's still burnt. The uh, Aura Veil, Aurora Veil, has finally uh, worn out. We fling our Eevee Light at the Ninetales and get destroyed by a Moonblast. So Ninetales has taken out two of our Pokemon so far and we've barely uh, made a dent in their team. So, Fake Out um, takes out the Ninetales with the burn there from Kecleon. Kecleon was really good with that Fake Out, really useful in those, uh, in those games. We get the Iron Ball Fling. Uh, stab Iron Ball Fling Protean there, but it's gone for Wish and Protect to get all of its health back, and we no longer have our Iron Ball, um, which kind of sucks. So we're going to steal its Rocky Helmet, take some damage from it, but now uh, we've got a Rocky Helmet. We're going to Dynamax here, because we really need to get rid of this Glaceon. It can just keep going for Wish and Protect um, to stall us out, so I decided we're just going to Dynamax and uh, try and get rid of it as quickly as we can. Just gonna keep spamming those max darknesses. Uh, it can no longer survive, even if it goes for Wish or Protect here. It's gonna take enough damage to take it out. It does go for Wish, so the Pokemon coming in will get healed here. But I think everyone else is on full health anyway. So here we go. Ice Q is coming in. It's going for an Iron Punch, uh, Ice Punch, sorry, and uh, takes us out. Ice Q is kind of an annoying Pokemon to go against in a team like this because the Fling uh, isn't gonna do any damage. We do get the Paralyze on it though, which is nice. It goes for a Belly Drum and uh, eats his berry there, so this uh, this is really dangerous right now. It's got max attack, it's got ice punch, takes out our Raichu in one hit. We come in with Muck here, and we get the lucky Parahax right there. Otherwise, it could have easily taken out the rest of our team. Darmanitan is coming in, Zen mode, uh, sorry, not Zen mode, Galarian Darmanitan. Coming in with the Icicle Crash, flinching our Muck. We get the poison off on it with the fling right there, which is good. It's on a timer now. It's got fire punch. And uh, it does go to below half health, and it is a Zen Mode Darmanitan. It goes Icicle Crash on Diggersby, and that is enough to take it out. We lose game number one, and Darmanitan is a freaking uh, house. So uh, we weren't going to really win that match. But I thought I'd show you a uh, theme team mirror match sort of thing. So that's game number one. Let's move to game number two. All right, game number two. Here we go. We are coming up against a uh, another interesting team right here. Um, this is being played in NatDex AG, so uh, we could be coming against Ubers and all sorts of stuff. Um, but we have coming up against these team here. We lead with our Simiseer, go for a Taunt straight off the bat to stop entry hazards and that. We get the Fern off the Fling and we go for the Thief. 
They missed the drill run, very nice indeed. The burn is going, the taunt has ended. And we're going to just fling the earth plate that we stole off them, which is real nice. Did some good damage right there. Drill run does finally hit. But we are going to take it out with the thief. So that's 1-0 to us at the moment. Parasect comes out. We are going to steal its insect plate. So this could be a full plate uh, theme team right here. We had earth plate on the Nidor Queen. We had the insect plate on the Parasect. We're going to get the poison off on the Parasect right there with Muck coming in. Goes for knockoff. Wouldn't have worked anyway because we have sticky hold. Uh, gunk shot misses as it usually does. It goes for a brick break. Parasect can't really do much to us here. We're super effective against it with the gunk shot. And uh, yeah, we take that out as well. Crobat coming in here. Goes for Dark Pulse. It's a special Crobat, which is interesting. We steal its Toxic Plate. So yeah, it looks like it is a full plate theme team here. So we've got two theme teams so far. Goes for Max Airstream to boost its speed. We go for Gunk Shot. Doesn't do much. Um, so what I try to do in these matches is use the Fling Thief Recycle combo as much as possible. Like, I could um, just go for all the stab moves that I put on them, like Thunderbolt, Gunk Shot. Um, stomping tantrum. I could go for those all the time, but I decided I was going to try and utilize the the gimmick of the team, fling thief as much as possible. So uh, Mr. Mime coming in, going for the Zen headbutt. It's super effective. Crowbat is dark pulsing and getting some flinches off on us, which is really kind of annoying. Zen headbutt misses, which was uh, really important right there because Crowbat takes us out with a sludge bomb. We could have easily taken out that Crowbat with the Mr. Mime. Kekleon comes in, finishes it off with a fake out. Sludge Wave from the Vileplume does decent damage. We get the Stab Iron Ball Fling, which does huge damage to Vileplume right there. Dazzling Gleam is super effective uh, on us because we are now Dark type. And then it goes for Razor Leaf, takes us out. Um, so it's not looking great for us right now. We've just got Diggersby left and they have three Pokemon. So we go for the Thief, um, which doesn't actually steal an item because we've still got the Iron Ball. Goes for Dazzling Gleam, Wigglytuff coming out, Shiny Wigglytuff. We fling the Iron Ball on Wigglytuff. Stomping Tantrum does great damage right there. And we are able to steal the Pixie Plate off the Wigglytuff, which is nice. And their final Pokemon comes down 1v1, Pidgeot versus Diggersby. We fling the Pixie, Pixie Plate, and it actually hits Pidgeot even after it's used Fly. I didn't realize Fling was like a guaranteed hit. And then we Dynamax to finish off the Pidgeot right there. Max Darkness takes it out. Huge power is such a strong ability right there. But yeah, I didn't realize Fling hit uh, Pokemon that were flying. So that is game number two. We got a win on that one. Let's move on to game number three. All right, here we go. Game number three. They are leading off with a Smeargle. We're leading with our Diggersby this time. They go for a Spore and instantly I'm worried right here because it's got Moody, which ups its special defense and attack. It's got Acupressure as well. This is a boosting, baton passing Smeargle right here. And I am scared. I'm thinking... Oh dear, this isn't going to go well. They are going to be able to baton pass all these boosts and we're just going to get swept. Um, we wake up and fling our orb. And uh, it does good damage, it does good damage. But they put us straight back to sleep and continue boosting with acupressure. But we wake straight back up, go for the stomping tantrum, take out the smeargle with all those boosts, which is awesome. Uh, right here we thief the assault vest off the Mr. Mime. And we go for a second Thief and take it out. So Diggersby is doing work right here. Diggersby is probably one of the better Pokemon on my team. Fling the Assault Vest at the Runa Regis. And Thief away its Rocky Helmet. Um, but it steals our huge power, which is kind of annoying. And takes us out with an Earthquake. Might have mattered that, uh, that we've given it huge power. I'm not sure. We fling our Iron Ball onto the Runa Regis right there. And uh, yeah. So that was kind of annoying because we had to use our Iron Ball on someone that was on low health. But we steal the light clay from the Mr. Mime that comes in, so the light screen is going to last uh, less time than the Reflect. It goes for Dazzling Gleam. We go for uh, Recycle to try and get the light clay back to do another fling. Uh, it uses Psychic because we're no longer Dark type, and it takes us out. So Simisi is going to come in, fling the Flame Orb, burning up the Mr. Mime there. We've got it, got it on a clock now. It goes for Psychic. Um, it gets a special defense drop that doesn't really matter. But I'm figuring we might need Simiseer again, so I switch back into Mr. Mime, resist the uh, Psychic that comes on. Go for Thief. Doesn't do much to Mr. Mime right there. Um, and then we're just going to keep going for Thief because Mr. Mime is going to go down this turn to its burn. And then we're, they're going to throw in the Chatot. Chatot is actually a scary Pokemon because it's got nasty plot and it's got like boom burst. Uh, special Chatot is a little bit scary. So we steal its weakness policy, uh, which is good. 
Not that we would have uh, done any special um, anything that's super effective against it. Uh, it goes for Chatter, which does massive damage and confuses us. We hurt ourselves in confusion, and it goes for Boom Burst, and then we are dead. So this Chatter is sweeping right now. Very worried about it. We do manage to be faster than it on the Raichu Thunderbolt it down, which I was like I wanted to fling and uh, and thief there, but I was worried that we were going to get swept if I didn't Thunderbolt. So then the Meloetta comes in and uh, we're able to get the Paralysis off and we steal its item, it goes for Relic Song. We're asleep, goes for Relic Song again, switches back. And then I go for a Dynamax here because I figure if I don't Dynamax, um, it might be able to take us out in one hit. With the extra health we might have survived it. We go for Max Darkness, take out the Meloetta in Dynamax form and that is the game. So we won that one um, just about. Uh, Simiseer was on low health. Raichu was on low health, but we just about won that one. And let's go on to the final game, game number four. All right, here we go, game number four. We are leading off with our Diggersby. They are leading off with Charizard, and they are a Mega Charizard. Going for Dragon Dance straight off the bat. We fling our Iron Ball. It does massive damage. They go for Earthquake. We then go for Stomping Tantrum and take out the Mega Charizard. Diggersby being a Mega Charizard. Didn't think I would ever see that. We thief away the leftovers from the Wiggly, T sorry, the Clefable, uh, which is good because then we can recycle, uh, which fails because we've stolen the leftovers, and then we have a double power Stomping Tantrum, which does massive damage to the Clefable. It's going to keep boosting, but we're faster than it and take it out with a second Stomping Tantrum right there, and then the uh, the uh, Magic Mushroom comes out here. This was actually a rematch. I played this guy uh, before. And uh, this Magic Mushroom is an absolute house and uh, walled me the first time we played. But then I just kept queuing and uh, we came up against each other again. So I was like, okay, this one's going to be another sweep because this Magic Mushroom really fucked me up last time. But we get the gunk shot off with the muck and it one shots the Magic Mushroom, which is great. And then Coffer Regis comes out. We managed to get it poisoned by flinging our poison barb at it. And uh, then we thief the, I want to say, leftovers. Yeah, we thief the leftovers from the Coffer Regis. It's got rest. It can fully heal itself again. But we've got leftover recovery now. So we're just going to boost up. We're going to get those curses up, get our attack and defense up. It's got Sleep Top. It goes for Shadow Ball, um, which doesn't really do much to us. By the time our leftovers recovery comes along, it's barely uh, doing any damage. They go into Colossal Stone Swaggers. Sets up Stealth Rocks, which is uh, kind of annoying. Because we've got a rock Pokemon, uh, sorry, we've got a uh, fire Pokemon which takes a lot of damage from Stealth Rocks. Mummy is spreading throughout the team because uh, Muck is walling uh, their team right now, which is great. So Leftovers is uh, keeping me nice and healthy. They set up Reflect. We're still boosting up with Curse here. Um, we should probably be like flinging and stealing the Leftovers from the other side as well. That's probably something that I should have done earlier in this battle. They come in, go for a Scald on the Jelly Scent, but we are a uh, Muck, which has massive special defense, and we're boosting our defense with Curse, so there's not a huge amount that they can do here. So we fling the leftovers, finally, at the Jelly Scent, and then they Scald, and I think we go for a Thief. Yeah, we go for a Thief here and steal their leftovers. Does massive damage, because again, we are almost fully boosted here. They have Recover, we go for a second Thief, and take out the Jelly Scent with the super effective damage. Took away their leftovers, and we, um, and yeah, we we're now fully set up to sweep this team because uh, Coffer Regis and Jelly Scent both weak to Thief. They miscount how many turns they've been asleep for and go for Sleep Talk on the wake, which is really unfortunate. That could have been uh, could have made a difference there. They go for Rapid Spin. The Mummy comes into effect again. We go for Gunk Shot, do massive damage, and uh, this was a pretty. Uh, Pretty effective Muck sweep right here, or nearly a Muck sweep. We didn't quite get the whole team with Muck, but we got most of the team with Muck. And uh, yeah, we fling our leftovers at them, and again we're going to thief their leftovers away from them. The flinging and stealing of the leftovers was uh, a really good tactic that I used quite a bit. Sort of re like remove if they haven't got recover or rest or anything, it removes their only method of recovery, which is uh, really effective. And then we get it back. So. Yeah, this, uh, the Stone Swaggers can't really do anything to us, the, st the Colossal. So, uh, yeah, we take that game, and that is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be back again for another video on Wednesday. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you around.
Bye.